For Elden Ring's runes, items, and weapons up to plus 10 and plus 25, head over to u4gm.com. Use the code CARPO for 5% off. Once again, thanks for watching everybody. Welcome back to another Elden Ring video. Today we have an amazing summons to get after. Now, this ash is going to put enemies to sleep, bosses to sleep. Yeah, it's OP and it's going to take you quite some time to get it. It's a little bit secret, but it's definitely worth the trick. Today, I'm going to show you how you can get Dolores Sleeping Arrow Puppet. And yeah, it's really good. So, without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's get started. Now, in order to get Dolores the Sleeping Arrow Puppet, there is quite a few things that you're going to have to do. First off, we're going to have to get to this location right outside of Carrion Manor. Now, it's a secret little way to get there. From the very first steps, we are going to make our way all the way to the Three Sisters. That's where this thing is located. You're going to have to start Ronnie's quest line. And in the middle of the quest line, you have an option to give Selvia's potion to the All Knowing or to Nephilia Lou. Now, if you get it to Nephilia Lou, you're going to get Nephilia Lou puppet after you return to Padilla. That's where we're headed to Padilla's location. It's a little trick, it's a little secret, right? I'll head out in the back of the Three Sisters right at this pin location. And uh, yeah, let's get things started. So, first things first, like I said, make sure you complete Ronnie's quest line and return to Padilla. Now, if you head over here and you talk to Padilla before you complete Ronnie's quest line, he'll be alive. He won't have any puppet for you, but he'll have a nice little inventory. But after you finish completing Ronnie's quest line and you return to this guy, well, he's going to be dead. You're going to start hearing words like this. Alright, now he's down for the count and there is these puppets that's hovering his body. You can't kill him or anything, but there will be either your know, Nephilia Lou puppet or what I think is just amazing Dolores the Sleeping Arrow puppet. And you also get Padilla's ball bearing, so even if you didn't show up here ever, you're going to get this so long as you complete Ronnie's quest line. So you get Nephilia Lou puppet if she drinks Selvia's potion, but if you gave it to the all-knowing, you're going to get Dolores the Sleeping Arrow Puppet. Now, it costs an FP 87. This thing is amazing. As you can see right here, spirit of a handsome archer who dresses in the style of a man called the Silent Hunter by some. She fires St. Trina arrows from her shark bow, which is amazing. She's the only one in the game that has St. Trina arrows. And the only other sleeping weapon that we have is St. Trina's sword. So yeah, it does exactly that. Head over to the round table and give her a Padilla's ball bearing and this is all of the inventory that Padilla have if this is your first time here you're not going to pretty much miss out on anything so long as you have the ball bearing turn it in and you can pick up all of these different rewards like the black leather shield the ripple blade and even the lovely sorcery the ash of war the carrying retaliation you could block some of those magic attacks you also have a cookbook and a lot of as well. So yeah, good times all around. But about this puppet, why is it good? Those Saint Trina arrows is a beast. Putting enemies to sleep, putting bosses to sleep is so choice in Elden Ring. And like I said, the only other weapon that we have to put enemies to sleep is the Saint Trina sword. This, this guy, well this lady, fire Saint Trina arrows. As you can see, they are highly effective. All you have to do is get hit with a couple of them and they're down for the count. The only downside to this is she can easily get swarmed by enemies. So I would definitely use this against bosses because it's just you and the boss, boss focusing on her, hit them a few times like so, they down for the count and you come, swipe, get your hits on her, get your charge attack ready and uh, yeah, oh boy, this thing is really good and it puts enemies to sleep for a very long time. They just don't sleep for five seconds. They can sleep 10, 15 seconds. You have plenty of time to get your damage in. So yeah, if you want Dolores the Sleeping Arrow Puppet, this amazing 
summons can be yours today. I showed you where you can get it, how you can get it. It might take you a few hours to get Ronnie's Quest lying down, but it's definitely worth it. But for right now, that's pretty much going in for the video. I hope you truly enjoyed it. As always, if you're new to the channel, how you doing and welcome. Don't forget to subscribe right here at Carpo Gamer below a wide variety of videos ranging from updates, tips and tricks, guys and news, and a whole lot more. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Once again, thank you everybody for all your love and support. And as always, I'll be seeing y'all in the next one. Later.